This is possibly the weirdest place to start a vlog. Where's, where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the light? This is a bit really different, actually, in comparison to what we've done before on the Villa View. So essentially, for the past four years or so, I've wrote numerous articles for many of the year, four years now, um, that I've been writing blogs and stuff on different fan sites, including a villafan.com, which has been a massive support of everything that I've done, as well as sites such as readastonvilla.com, ran by Fresh Press Media. They've all been really helpful and get me to where I am today. And I am actually in Manchester um, today for the Football Blogging Award Finals, where I am a finalist under the Young Blogger category. For all the work I've been doing with avillafan.com, readastonvilla.com, and anywhere else I've seemed to have wrote a blog on in the past year or so, this sort of thing wouldn't happen if you didn't read what I write, as well as watching these videos. This isn't actually anything to do with the Villa View, but I want to share that experience with you because it is about Villa. In fairness, because everything I do is about Villa, because I love Aston Villa, and it's time to showcase the best of Aston Villa with me here at the Football Blogging Awards. I've got some great people actually against me um, today, and basically, yeah, it's a really good day. It's going to be really exciting. There's some really good big vloggers and bloggers actually here tonight. The likes of Cup and 90 are up for awards. I tried to take a seat for a second, just to explain what the Football Blogging Awards about. So essentially a few years ago, guys felt that bloggers were not getting enough of a recommendation um, when it comes to what they do or the hard work they put in, the notice that they deserve what they do. So they set up these awards where every year they'd sort of like tell people about what bloggers, what bloggers do and bloggers and everything else and showcase the best that the UK has got to offer when it comes to that. There's some amazing categories out there tonight, such as Best International Box, some really interesting people that have won it in the past as well have done some great things. So I'm buzzing to be here this year. Um, I just want to be able to say thank you to everyone as well that has voted for me because without you guys I wouldn't be here and I know it seems really soppy to say it but it does mean a hell of a lot for me to be where I am sat right here today in a Manchester hotel waiting to go to the Theatre of Dreams which is Manchester United's home ground um, to the Football Blogging Awards where I'm going to meet and mingle some great people such as Stan Collymore, people that I look at and go I want to take a bit of what you do and a bit of what you do and create me, what I want to be. I want to be an individual, but I want to create the best out of all these guys that are industry professionals. And tonight's going to enable me to do that. Um, going with the Fresh Press guys, there's a few guys from Fresh Press, because those people have helped me a lot over the past year and develop and get opportunities, such as when I interviewed Fabrice Mwamba about a year ago now, I think I interviewed him. I've been to Ball Street a few times through them. Lots of things have come through them. And then as well, avillafan.com with Stuart Young and Anne who are both great people that have helped me since I was like 15, I think, when I first wrote a blog. So to be now 19 sat here, it's a massive development and I can't thank those people enough because those people gave me the support. I haven't got my Clarity Blue tie, which is a bit disappointing today. Wore that last week for the Student Radio Awards and I felt it'd be a bit outfit repeater like to wear that again tonight. So I've got a nice yellow tie, which I'm sure you'll see later on in the evening. It's gonna be a long evening, it's gonna be great fun. And I've got two chicken bakes to eat because Food wasn't served till like half past nine last year and I was absolutely starving. So this is my crib for the night. It is a Britannia hotel on Portland Street, Manchester. Yeah, got a nice big mirror here where you can admire me if you really wanted to do that. I don't think you really wanted to anyway. We'll go into the bathroom. Very important part of the room for the night ahead. Got my inset body spray, ocean, ooh, my toothbrush, my mat, no connection to me, V05, matte paste, CK1 after shave, Schwarzkopf got to be glued spray, and of course my McLean's, McLean toothpaste. Anyway, we've got a bath as well, which I think is brilliant because I've not had a bath at uni in a while. That doesn't mean I haven't washed, it means I genuinely have not got a bath. I've got a huge shower, but I haven't got a bath. So this is gonna be a night where I might actually have a bath. I've had to go and buy some shower gel while I've been here. Because you know when you normally go to a hotel, you normally get some free complimentary stuff. In this case, I've got no complimentary shower gel. Oh, I have actually, whatever this is. I have got some, but anyway, I've got a bought some of that. Got a nice bed there for me to stand. Just elected, I'm gonna stay on this one. Got my gorilla pot over there that's lying down there. And of course, an essential part of tonight is my battery pack. Three charges it'll do on that, three charges. Anyway, on this bed, it's just gonna have general junk. Laptop, iPad, lint roller, socks, hairbrush, 
So then, the main thing, free tea and coffee. Yes, there's a few free tea bags there. Free few coffee ones as well. And sugar and milk. Perfect for in the morning or even tonight when I get back. And of course, I've had to go to Greg's to get some food because I was starving. So I've got an extra yum yum. But anyway, it is about me. It, it's not about me. Um, I got here through just blogging. I always blog. And even if I wasn't nominated, I think I'd still blog. I don't, these awards are just a little bit of an icing on the cake, so to speak, of what I do. I love what I do. And this is just something a little bit extra. So I hope you enjoy this sort of experience as I share my experience with you as I go to Old Trafford, Manchester United Home Ground, the Theatre of Dreams for the Football Blogging Awards 2016. So at the supposed Theatre of Dreams now, joined by Jack from Fresh Press as well, who is on crutches because he's doing his ACL like a proper footballer. Um, very cold, so we're gonna go inside now. Got it right behind us there, Old Trafford. It's not as good as Villa Park by long stretch of imagination, but anyway, go inside where it is a lot warmer than it is out here. And yeah. <laughs> everybody and welcome to the Football Blogging Awards. Good crowd, good crowd. Yes. The award ceremony created to award and celebrate the online writings of football fans. It's now in its fifth year the Football Blogging Awards have gone from strength to strength with over 300,000 votes cast and over 2,000 bloggers and websites nominated and that's more than doubling last year's efforts once again. So big round of applause on that, just that fact alone. Looks ten times better than what was served last year. <laughs> and I think that is the main starting point. But it depends what sort of pie it is. So the first things first, we're going to read out the actual award. Then we're going to ask the sponsor to come on stage. Then we have um, the nominees on the video screen. And that's where you do your clapping and put on your loser's face, if you can. And then the uh, sponsor will announce the winners. And that's the judges' award and the fans' award. Right, one, two, three, Mexico way to the top. You can do a woo if you want. There'll be no woo. It's quite a way back there, you know. <laughs> Which brings me on to the nominees for the award. Okay, just quite pleased for the announcement of the Fans Award. The Fans Award for the best young football blogger. And the winner is Matt Lynch. Would you like to say a few words or are you not bothered? Just thank you to anyone that has supported on my work. Five years of work and it's come to this. Thank you. And I'm knackered from running here. Congratulations, they get your award and get a nice picture. Congratulations. The best young football blogger as voted for by the fans. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bleacher Report. I don't know where to quite start tonight. Um, I want to thank everybody first of all. Just come out of there after winning Best Young Blogger of the Year for Fans Vote, which is so special. Like This is like five years of writing and drained effort that's been gone into something that is so important to me. Like I just love blogging about Villa. I'm at, in, like, even how bad it's been over the past year, no matter how bad it's been, I've always enjoyed writing my blogs, however tough it's been to write them about the club, but I just want to thank you all because you've done this, you've the people that have supported me and voted that 
You've done it. You've the ones that have got this amazing trophy. It's in my bag. I'm not going to get it out yet. I'll show you later. But yeah, thank you so much. I'm genuinely so speechless that I've even come this far and I'm here outside Old Trafford clinching a trophy for what I do. Just thank you so much. And I'll talk a bit more to you in a bit when I'm a bit warmer because I'm absolutely freezing out here and slightly overwhelmed. Genuinely like so sort of shocked that I've managed to win as an nationally recognised award against some really, really good young bloggers. Like, I've been writing about Villa, for God's sake. Like, little old Villa that have struggled so much. <laughs> to be able to say that I've won a national award for writing for the love of Aston Villa and football is, it's incredible. Like, everyone that's ever supported me, this, this award, best young blogger, and this nice little plaque, like this like represents a lot it's years of work like i don't think people understand what goes into writing an article in terms of like you can't just pluck out an idea i have the head it has to be well thought out i can't thank avillafan.com enough especially Anne and stuart young they've been incredible for me seeing how i'm getting on help me out promoting my work and even just posting my work and then guys at fresh press media like harry hugo Steve Hoare, Dan Wilcox, Will Woodward, Michael Oliver, these are all people that have helped me along my way. Then as well, anyone that's sort of watched a video or a, a blog that I've done, like you guys have all helped as well massively to where I'm at. Let's not forget, this is something for the fans' choice. Like the fans have decided that I am the best young blogger for 2016. And that's that means more to me than having industry professionals notice my work. I know that might seem a bit stupid because this, that and the other, but to me, having the notice of the Aston Villa fans, it means more than anything because those are the people that I want to read my work, the people I want to see my work, the people I want to see praise it and agree with my views or even disagree. I love when people disagree with my work because I love having a, a nice argument. Not a nice argument, but I love debating what I, my views and wow just genuinely thank you so much i can't put into context how much this genuinely means to me like i'm still genuinely so shocked right now i'm sure you've seen the footage of when i go up and i'm genuinely so shocked that i've even come this far to be able to say that i've won it thank you so much guys and i hope you've enjoyed the sort of experience of what the full blogging awards is all about um, well done to all the winners and everyone that's even nominated because it's such a special event Cameras broke down there. God's sake. Thank you to anyone that's ever supported me. And well done to all these bloggers out there because it is difficult. It really is. And I'm not going to lie. It, it can be disenchanting at times when you get a lot of criticism, but that's what drives you on. You're all the future of where journalism is going. Journalism is going in a way where people want to see fan content, where people want to see the views of the fans. And that's what's being provided to them with nights like tonight because they are the fans that are talking most and that's what is so important is getting the fans views because the fans are the ones that understand the pain and the heartache like of Aston Villa in the past we've got a guy called Matty Roper who was in the young blogger category who writes about Coventry City obviously there's a lot of pain there as well and these are the real people these people on the beat so to speak that understand what is going on at the football club more than anyone in terms of how the fans feel so thank you so much to everyone that's ever supported anything I've ever done it means so much and it doesn't go unnoticed if you did enjoy just my experience of what the FBA is all about it's a lot of me being a bit speechless and a bit shocked in fairness so if you did enjoy it yeah just drop us a like below comment below and just subscribe to the Villa View because that's where our manager is going now I want the Villa View to get the recognition it deserves as well because me Dan Bardell Dan Rollinson superb people those two are in helping the Villa View as well as well as myself we all push it so much. Dan Rollinson's the backbone behind it, the creator, the one that's pushing it so much, the one that edits all of this absolute tripe that I talk. And yeah, subscribe to the Villa View, post notifications on. And I hope you enjoyed this video in me in Manchester. But it's me out for the night because I am absolutely dead.